How to reduce taxes as a W-2 employee. Well, I got a lot to say about that. So I'm actually going to bring in another expert to interview and have this conversation with me, Scott Arden. He and I own Generational Wealth Solutions. The website's generationalwealthsystems.com. So go check it out where we actually can set up your company and trust. So your company is the number one thing that you're going to need if you're going to take down these taxes as an employee. Specifically, when I interview Scott, we're going to talk about three things. How do you actually maximize your deductions? And again, if you only say a W-2 employee, but we're also going to offer up, if you also start some entrepreneurial venture, what that does for you. The second strategy we're going to talk about is just what are the few, if you're just going to stay a W-2, which is an employee income earner, what are the maximum deductions you can take? And then number three, the common misperceptions, misconceptions, and mistakes that we see people make all the time. And some of them are ridiculous. So Scott, welcome to our interview. Let's talk about how to maximize these deductions. So to have this conversation about how to reduce taxes as a W-2 employee, which there's only one way, and I call it living corporate life, I brought Scott Arden, who's a partner in Generational Wealth Systems. So you go to generationalwealthsystems.com and you're gonna be able to uh, click through some, get some great gifts we're gonna share with you at the end. But let's start with how do you minimize your taxes? And really as an employee, Scott, we know this, what are the max deductions? If you, all you were as an employee, what could you do? There's about five of them. So you have your mortgage interest deduction. You've got contributions to a retirement account. If you have young children, you get child tax credits, you know, and there's a few others in there. But yeah, they're very limited when it comes to a W-2 employee. Yep. Because you can't even legally write off this called your phone, your internet, like because you're not doing a business. You have no legal reason to create income or product or service to anyone. So you don't get anything, which is why I want to give you right now uh, two gifts. We're going to do lots of gifts in this uh, recording today here at YouTube and uh, come to our millionaire intensive. Scott is a big part of that. And that's when you're really going to learn a good two hour block of how do you live corporate life? Because just living in his employee. You might make a millionaire in 20 years, but you know, over here, our promise with uh, grabbing the book here is three to five years, but you got to do it through corporate life. So Scott, talk about then the employing, like what effects of the tax strategies? I mean, if you're only employed and that's the only kind of income, I know like there's not a lot to talk about. So let's just kind of move from why that's so limited and what they really need to be doing. Yeah, absolutely. So ultimately, in order to take advantage of the 81,000 pages of tax code, that's what's allowed for corporations and LLCs. In order to take advantage of that, we need to start living, like you said, the corporate life, right? Being able to live your life like a business. Really, what you need out of the company is just enough to cover food, clothing, shelter, personal entertainment, and insurance, and then your company should be covering the rest. So as you alluded to, you know, phones, vacations, vacations are post-tax expenses. Whereas when you utilize corporations and LLCs, you get to take advantage of business trips, which are 100% tax deductible to your company. So again, taking advantage of all that code, being able to write off upward of 233 to 305 different corporate deductions, that allows you far more use of your money up front, which ultimately results in paying a lot less in taxes. And I always say, you know, if you don't have kids, you should get them their tax deductible. So as an employee, you get a little bit, but as a corporate life, like having an LLC, an S corp, a a limited partnership or C corp, whatever Scott and his team decides you need. And to to make that decision, we're going to give you a strategy session, which you're going to uh, generationalwealthsystems.com forward slash entity. And you're going to set up a conversation to say, well, what should I have? So say you and your significant other are really high income earners. I mean, anybody over 100,000 is in the top 3%. So that means you're paying the most tax. And unless you have, call it a rental property, not a second home, a rental property, unless you have some other, yeah, I don't care if it's just a direct sales company or an affiliate program, some simple business. I always say a simple business allows you now to activate the tax code, really employ the kids, get them a Roth IRA, pay for this little thing, pay for your cars, pay for your office. So talk about once they make the leap and like, first of all, what goes on in a strategy session with you and your team? What are they going to learn? Then what kind of life is available to them? 
to really reduce their taxes because there's no other way to do it than what we're telling. This is the formula, by the way. This is just our opinions. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So ultimately in working with us, we would do a comprehensive analysis to build a baseline of where they're at and really what their vision is, where they want to be. In that, we would develop a sequence, the proper sequence in which to put the company in place, whether that's a corporation or an LLC, or even the culmination of a couple different entities, depending upon what they're doing. So yeah, in working with us, like I said, we'll develop that strategy that's custom to them. It's not a one size fits all uh, you know, endeavor. It's a complex puzzle putting a business together. And so having a team to provide the guidance, the direction and the right steps in which to take in the sequence is absolutely critical. Absolutely. And inside the Millionaire Maker book, uh, very similar. If you read up to chapter three, you're going to know what a gap analysis is. So that's what Scott's talking about. Like, where are you now and what do you want? I don't know how many times we meet people who are, like I said, double income earners and have no ability to do deductions. And then as far as the, uh, even if you had real estate, I mean, Scott and I see it all the time, but sometimes your bookkeeper accountants don't even know how to write real estate through for the right depreciation schedules. And I got to speak one more place when you actually go to generationalwealthsystems.com forward slash entity, talk to Scott and his team. If you already have entities or rental properties, what we see a lot where a lot of you just hold it in your personal name and you're convinced that some insurance guy says, oh, that's fine. You don't need to get incorporated. We're going to tell you every reason why that's wrong. And you're putting a lot of your own personal you know, life and assets at risk. So Scott, anything you want to come embellish or like, you know, go in deeper with that? Because I, I I, just don't know for those of you that are brand new, you just jumped on this YouTube channel. You got to live corporate life. It's just imperative to do any of these tax reductions. Yeah, absolutely. And and again, don't think go out and start a business as a sole proprietor. You have very limited deductibility options. You're still personally liable for the business or any liabilities that arise. And as Laurel talked about, you know, the insurance, it's always your first line of defense. However, if somebody claims negligence or punitive damages, and you referred to rental properties, negligence can come from something as simple as deferred maintenance, a crack in the sidewalk or a loose banister rail. And so if they're able to claim, if the insurance company is able to claim the negligence portion, they're going to remove themselves from the equation and all the liability is going to fall through to you. The next thing about insurance is let's say you've got a million dollar policy and somebody sues you for three. Well, you're responsible for the other two if insurance covers it. So again, having that corporate structure as that added layer of protection is absolutely critical to protect personal assets, to take advantage of deductions, and ultimately create generational wealth. Absolutely. So those of you that are here, uh, at any time you go to our search bar, you can search for the use of corporate structure, tax deductions. I have days and days and days, hours and hours of videos. Scott's on many of them. And uh, while you're here, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click that notification button. So you're here five days a week, actually watch the video. And if you haven't grabbed one of our learning journals, brand new out inside the journal, it gives you uh, what video, what day you watched it, what did you learn and what are you gonna do? And then you start building an action plan over time with your YouTube learning journal being on our channel. And uh, it is family friendly. Anyone five years and older can, join. Now, anyone who's an employee, you should share this channel with and say, "Mm -hmm," especially if you are actually, you think you're doing it right. Now I got to speak to that. Even if you think you're doing it right, I still want you to get a strategy session. So again, go to the link below generationalwealthsystems.com forward slash entity and get on their schedule, Scott and his team schedule to really review where you are. And remember, like our opinion is uh, at 18 years old, you're a legal adult. This is about an intention to live this life, not about an income number. And so many of you are lied to by CPAs who say, well, if you don't make $100,000, you shouldn't do it. What would you say to that common mistake and absolute misconceptions, Scott? Yeah, absolutely. I hear that all the time. Um, <laughs> all the time is my CPA told me to do it and not to do it until I make about fifty to seventy five thousand dollars. Well, here's the thing. Again, you're if you're operating the business as a sole proprietor, you're still personally liable. You've only got about fifteen to thirty different deductions that you can take advantage of. Woo! <laughs> and uh, you know the you have no ability to build credit because everything is based upon your personal FICO scores. You know, so you need to have an entity to be able to truly take advantage of living corporate life. 
Absolutely. So again, grab those tickets to the Millionaire Intensive. We're there every three weeks. As we head into 2024, we will be doing it once a month and look forward to seeing you there. And those of you who need to make money, some of you, that is your sequence. You just need to make money. Having a company is going to even motivate you more so you can activate the tax code and pay the least amount of tax. And given the situation we're in, the recession we're in, interest rates where there are, you need to be leading your financial strategy and team, which is use our team to help you. If you have any questions, go to ask asklaurel.com, A-S-K-L-O-R-A-L. You ask a question, make a request. We answer that 24-7. But just going to the generationalwealthsystems.com forward slash entity, Scott and his team will review what kind of company and if you're 18 or older, click that button and just find out your options and say yes. We're filming now the end of 2023. Scott, last, I'm going to say mistake is most people say, I'll wait till the next year. Why is it so critical? Fall 2023, why they do this now? I always say I want you to save the year. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, if we wait until next year, that's when it's st- we get to start taking advantage of all the tax write-offs. Whereas we are in the last quarter of the year. So if you form a corporation or an LLC now, that you can actually go back retroactive to usually six to six months or to the beginning of the year to be able to take advantage of certain deductions and expenses that you've already incurred in your business and make them tax deductible to that corporation. So again, you're taking advantage of it this year in 2023. Don't wait till 2024. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. So uh, again, go to askwell.com, make a request, get signed up for a strategy session, and we'll be talking to you tomorrow.